dear friends today we are going to discuss uh, december 2014 part c problem in calculus of variation so the first problem problem number 15 let y belongs to c2 of 0 comma pi satisfying y of 0 equal to y of pi equal to 0 and integral 0 to pi y square of x dx equal to 1 extremize the functional j of y equal to integral 0 to pi y dash of x whole square into dx y dash equal to where y dash equal to dy by dx this is the problem idu varali nama calculus of variation la lot of problem discuss panirukom so the each and every problem is uh, the same type of problem okay almost the same type of problem it's a totally different one here you want find out the extremize for this functional equation j of y equal to integral 0 to pi y dash of x whole square dx but here integral 0 to pi y square of x dx equal to 1 this is the condition okay so nalla paathunga inga j of y idukku da nama extremize extremal function kandupidikkrom okay innor condition onnu koduthirukanga additional that is integral 0 to pi y square of x dx equal to 1 so for this type of problem we want to construct first of all new function using the integrand of uh, this one and integrand of this one that is called that uh, already in our low class la lagrange function one construct panirpinga like that adu madri so h nu one construct pananum using this integrand and this one or any other alphabet okay so and then uh, we want to try to find out for this that is considered as the function and then try to find out the extremize for this uh, extremal for that function okay so now move for the problem before that uh, what is the options the first options are y of x equal to square root of 2 by pi into sin x and y of x equal to minus square root of 2 2 by pi sin x and uh, third option y of x equal to square root of 2 by pi into cos x Fourth option y of x equal to square root of minus square root of 2 by pi cos x. Okay, these are options. So this problem is totally different uh, from the previous problems. So given that the function uh, we want to find out the function for the j of y, this j of y integral 0 to pi y dash of x whole square dx, and also given that there some condition that is integral 0 to pi y square of x dx equal to 1. So this is considered as the capital F. This integrand is considered the capital F. This integrand considered as the capital G. So when you construct the new axillary function, that is called the H. H equal to capital F plus lambda into capital G. So then this H is become y dash square plus lambda into y square. This is the new function. Okay. So for this new function. we can write down euler equation what is the euler equation as usual do h by er function is capital h so do h by do y minus d by dx into do h by do y dash equal to 0 so when i apply this euler equation for this function capital h so the differentiation of the capital h with respect to y is 2 lambda y this is this y dash becomes 0 when it differentiate with respect to y this is become zero so when you differentiate it with respect to y 2 lambda y minus d by dx into do h by do y dash means 2 y dash do h by do y dash means 2 y dash so 2 lambda y minus d by dx 2 y dash equal to zero so when you differentiate 2 y dash once again with respect to x we get it the 2 y double dash 2 y double dash So 2 lambda y minus 2 y double dash equal to zero. When you divide by 2 on both sides, we get it the lambda y minus y double dash equal to zero. We can write down this equation in the form of the y double dash minus lambda y equal to zero. And also given that some conditions, that is y of zero and y of pi equal to zero, these are called the boundary conditions. So when you include this boundary condition, this problem is become the stem lioli problem already in the partial differential equation like this is a very very important role this type of problems uh, mostly asking in the 
uh, in the partial differential equation okay partial differential equation la mostly kekkudiya problem stem lioli problem so how to solve this problem okay how to solve this problem so first of all here lambda is appear in this problem that is y double dash minus lambda y so lambda may be positive or negative or zero so we can uh, here we arise the here arise the three cases that is lambda equal to zero and lambda greater than zero lambda less than zero for these three cases we can find out the solution first of all i will consider the lambda equal to zero case one is when lambda equal to zero y double dash equal to what about the y double dash when you put the lambda equal to zero in this problem y double dash equal to lambda equal to zero now y double dash equal to zero from this y double dash equal to zero what is that uh, solution when y double dash equal to zero when integrating on both side we get the y dash equal to ax y dash equal to ax and then integrate with respect to x on both side y equal to ax plus b y equal to ax plus b this is the solution in the case of the lambda equal to zero we get the solution is y of x equal to ax plus b this is called the extremal this is called the extremal okay so when you apply the boundary conditions that is y of zero equal to zero and y of pi equal to zero so when you take the y of zero equal to zero that means when x equal to zero y equal to zero x equal to zero number two y equal to zero that is the boundary condition so when you take the y x equal to zero the y equal to zero in this equation we get it b equal to zero we get it b equal to zero when you put it uh, when you put it b equal to zero in this solution we get the y of x equal to ax y of x equal to ax the same way when you apply the second boundary condition y of pi equal to zero that means when x equal to pi we x equal to pi uh, y equal to zero that means a pi equal to zero that means a equal to zero that means a equal to zero a pi equal to zero so y of pi equal to zero apply panum bodu when you take the x equal to pi y equal to zero that means a pi equal to zero we get the a equal to zero so a equal to zero va substitute pannainga na inga we get the y of x equal to zero y of x equal to zero so this y of x equal to zero okay where is the solution after applying the boundary condition we get the solution is y of x equal to zero so y of x equal to zero is cannot be an eigen function where y of x equal to zero cannot be an eigen function so from this what is the conclusion lambda equal to zero is not an eigen value okay so zero under the eigen function nam consider panna matom so adanal is lambda equal to zero is not an eigen value okay so the problem is over for the lambda equal to zero case so when you take the lambda is greater than zero lambda is consider the positive then lambda equal to mu square mu is non zero value any non zero value so lambda equal to mu square mu take the any positive or negative value lambda is always positive so then one reduces to that means one means uh, here this is called the problem okay in the problem no? mistakenly i will put it three this is called the third equation so three implies when you take the lambda equal to mu square we get the y double dash minus mu square y equal to zero minus mu square y equal to zero y double dash minus mu square y equal to zero so y double dash minus mu square y equal to zero the solution for this one what is the axillary equation first of all what is the axillary equation okay uh, that is um, p square minus mu square equal to zero so p square equal to mu square p equal to plus or minus mu then the solution is become uh, y equal to a e power mu x plus b e power minus mu x this is the solution so the complementary function is the general solution for this homogeneous differential equation homogeneous second order differential equation okay uh, that is called the complementary function is the general solution because of the right hand side is zero right hand side zero var karadanaala corresponding uh, complementary function is called the general solution for this homogeneous differential equation okay so the y equal to a e power mu x plus b e power minus mu x so uh, axillary equation enna eduvinge m square minus mu square equal to zero nu kuda edadalam so m square equal to mu square apna m equal to plus or minus root of mu square square root of mu square is a mu so m equal to plus or minus mu so the solution eppadi eduthuma idukku distinct a irundaduna root a y equal to a e power mu x plus b e power minus mu x okay va so this is the solution in the case of the lambda is greater than 0 when you apply the boundary condition 
y of 0 equal to 0 means when we put the x equal to 0 and uh, y equal to 0, we get it the uh, a plus b equal to 0, a plus b equal to 0. When you put the y of p equal to 0, y of pi equal to 0 means when you put the x equal to pi, y equal to 0, a e power mu pi plus b e power minus mu pi equal to 0. Okay, well, this is the second, uh, second boundary condition. Apply panna, you will get a e power mu pi plus b e power minus mu pi equal to 0. When you apply the first boundary condition, we get the a plus b equal to 0. When you solve these two equation, these two equation is called the homogeneous equation. This two equation is called the homogeneous equation because of right hand side is 0. The solution for this homogeneous equation, for find out the a and b, a b contributed, the solution for this homogeneous equation, suppose the coefficient matrix, this is coefficient matrix, determinant of the coefficient matrix is not equal to 0, the solution is unique, the solution is unique, that means a equal to 0, b equal to 0. Okay, determinant of the coefficient matrix 0 over the, the solution is unique, that means that the solution is trivial solution, the trivial solution means both a and b equal to 0. So, uh, here I will try to find out the determinant of the coefficient matrix. Here coefficient is 1, 1. Here coefficient e power mu pi plus e, uh, e power minus mu pi. So, determinant to find out this is always not equal to 0 because of e power minus mu pi minus e power mu pi. In the determinant experiment, e power minus mu pi minus e power mu pi. This is always not equal to 0. So, therefore, the determinant of the coefficient matrix is not equal to 0 for the homogeneous system of equation. Therefore, the corresponding uh, variables a and b are should be equal to 0 because of the homogeneous equation as is consistent and as trivial solution. Consistent and as trivial solution that is the unique solution that uh, trivial solution is called a equal to 0 and b equal to 0. In the solution when you substitute the a equal to 0 and b equal to 0 we get the y of x equal to 0. So, once again we get the 0 is the solution for this uh, in this case for the uh, for in this case we get the y of x equal to 0. y of x equal to 0 cannot be an eigen function. So, lambda equal to mu square is not an eigen value for this problem. Okay. So, for the third case, uh, case 3, lambda is when lambda is less than 0, consider the lambda equal to minus, minus mu square. When a mu is non-zero value, when you put the mu is positive or negative, lambda is always negative. Lambda is always negative. The lambda equal to mu square, when you substitute in the third equation, when you substitute in the third equation, that is a y double dash plus mu square y equal to 0. What is the solution for this one? The axillary equation here, p square plus mu square equal to 0. That means p square equal to minus mu square. That is p equal to plus or minus square root of minus mu square. Square root of minus mu square means i mu, i mu. So, the p equal to plus or minus i mu. The roots are only complex, complex roots. So, therefore, the solution is y equal to c cos mu x plus d sin mu x. Actually, solution e power uh, real part in tx, e power real part in tx, here real part is 0. So, e power 0x into some constant, arbitrary constant that is c into cos into mu x that is imaginary part, imaginary part in tx plus d into sin into imaginary part in tx that is mu, mu x plus or minus i mu on the number axillary equation node is solution with the plus or minus i mu on the other nala this is a solution okay so when you substitute the boundary condition for this solution uh, y of 0 equal to 0 when you take the y of 0 equal to 0 so x equal to 0 y equal to 0 put x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 we get it is a c equal to 0 abna c cos 0 plus d sin 0 equal to 0 cos 0 value is 1 so c sin 0 value is 0 so, c equal to 0, that is the solution. When you take y of 0 equal to 0, uh, y, of 0 y of 0 equal to 0 means x equal to 0, y equal to 0. In the solution, la, x equal to 0, y equal to 0, podum bodu, sin 0, 0 wide. So, c into cos 0 value 1. So, c equal to 0 over the solution. When you put the c equal to 0 in this solution, we get the y equal to d sin mu x. D sin mu x. And, uh, and then apply the second boundary condition y of pi equal to 0. That means in the in, in this solution la, substitute x equal to pi y equal to 0. x equal to pi y equal to 0. d sin mu pi equal to 0. d sin mu pi equal to 0. That means d equal to, uh, d equal to 0 or sin mu pi equal to 0. d equal to 0 or sin mu pi equal to 0. When you take first of all if d equal to 0 if d equal to 0 the solution 
இந்த சொல்யூஷன் இதுதான் ஃபைனல் சொல்யூஷன் நம்ம கிடச்சிருக்க அவுட் புட் வந்து ஒய் ஈக்குவல் டு டி சைன் மியூ எக்ஸ் வென் இஸ் அப்சூட் டி ஈக்குவல் டு ஜீரோ இந்த சொல்யூஷன் விக் கெட் ஒய் ஆஃப் எக்ஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு ஜீரோ விச் கனாட் பி ஐ கேன் ஃபங்க்ஷன் விச் கனாட் பி சொல்யூஷன் ஸ்பேஸ் தேர் ஃபோர் டி கெனாட் பி ஜீரோ அப்படின்னா வாட் இஸ் த சொல்யூஷன் ஜீரோ சைன் மியூ பை ஷுட் பி ஜீரோ சைன் மியூ பை ஈக்குவல் டு ஜீரோ சைன் மியூ பை ஈக்குவல் டு ஜீரோ மீன்ஸ் மியூ பை ஈக்குவல் டு என் பை மியூ பை ஈக்குவல் டு என் பை சைன் என் பை ஜென்ரலாக வந்து சைன் எப்போ ஜீரோவாகுனா சைன் என் பை இஸ் ஜீரோ சைன் என் பை சைன் எனி இன்டிஜர் இன்ட்டு பை ஈக்குவல் டு ஜீரோ ஸோ அதனால் சைன் மியூ பை ஈக்குவல் டு ஜீரோ மீன்ஸ் மியூ பை ஈக்குவல் டு என் பை அப்படின்னா மியூ ஈக்குவல் டு என் பை பை கேன்சல் ஸோ விகெட் த மியூ ஈக்குவல் டு என் ஸோ ஃபார் ஆல் என் பிலாங்ஸ் டு த இன்டிஜர் ஸோ தர் ஃபார் ஐகன் ஃபங்க்ஷன் இஸ் பிகம் ஐகன் ஃபங்க்ஷன் இயர் டி சைன் என் எக்ஸ் மியூக்கு பதிலாக என் ரீப்ளேஸ் பண்ணிங்கன்னா டி சைன் என் எக்ஸ் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் த ஐகன் ஃபங்க்ஷன் திஸ் இஸ் த எக்ஸ்டிமல் சொல்யூஷன் ஃபார் த கிவன் ப்ராப்ளம் ஓகே ஸோ அண்ட் ஆல்சோ கிவன் த சம் பவுண்ட்ரி சம் கண்டிஷன்ஸ் ஆர் கிவன் தட் இஸ் த ஆக்சலரி கண்டிஷன் தட் இஸ் இன்டர்கல் ஜீரோ டு பை ஒய் ஸ்கொயர் ஆஃப் எக்ஸ் இன்ட் டி எக்ஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு ஒன் When you substitute the y of x, we get it the d sin n x. Finally, we get it the extremal solution is d sin n x. So, uh, when you substitute the y of x equal to d sin n x, we get it the d square sin square n x d x equal to 1. So, d square is constant and also integrate the sin square n x with respect to x. For integrate the sin square n x, we want to apply the trigonometry formula that is sin square theta equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta whole divided by 2. And the whole divided by 2 வெளியில் எடுத்துட்டிங்கன்னா டி ஸ்கொயர் பை டூ இன்டகரல் ஜீரோ டு பை ஒன் மைனஸ் காஸ் டூ என் எக்ஸ் இன்ட்டு டி எக்ஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு ஒன் ஸோ இன்டகிரேட் ஒன் வித் ரெஸ்பெக்ட் டு எக்ஸ் விகெட் த எக்ஸ் இன்டகிரேட் காஸ் டூ என் எக்ஸ் வித் ரெஸ்பெக்ட் டு எக்ஸ் விகெட் த சைன் டூ என் எக்ஸ் ஓல்டு பை டூ என் ஸோ லிமிட் இஸ் ஜீரோ டு பை வென் இஸ் அப்சர் த அப்பர் அண்ட் லோவர் லிமிட் வென் இஸ் அப்ஸ் த அப்பர் லிமிட் சைன் டூ என் பை ஜீரோ சைன் பை இஸ் ஜீரோ அதனால் சைன் டூ என் பை ஜீரோ வென் இஸ் அப்ஸ் த லோவர் லிமிட் சைன் ஜீரோ வேல்யூ ஜீரோ ஸோ திஸ் டம் இஸ் ஆல்வேஸ் ஜீரோ ஃபார் த அப்பர் லிமிட் அண்ட் லோவர் லிமிட் ஃபார் போத் அப்பர் அண்ட் லோவர் லிமிட் சைன் டூ என் எக்ஸ் பை டூ என் இஸ் ஆல்வேஸ் ஜீரோ ஸோ வி வாண்ட் புட் த லிமிட் ஒன்லி ஃபார் த எக்ஸ் வென் இஸ் அப்ஸ் த அப்பர் லிமிட் டி ஸ்கொயர் பை டூ இன்ட்டு பை ஈக்குவல் டு ஒன் ஸோ டி ஸ்கொயர் ஈக்குவல் டு டூ பை பை வென் ஐ கிராஸ் மல்டிப்ளை இட் டூ பை பை டி ஸ்கொயர் ஈக்குவல் டூ பை பை So, d equal to plus or minus square root of 2 by pi. So, when you substitute the d equal to plus or minus square root of 2 by pi in the solution, the extremal solution, we get the y of x equal to square root of 2 by pi sin x and y of x equal to minus square root of 2 by pi sin x. Both are solution. Therefore, option 1 and 2 are correct. Okay. Thank you.